Now, I mean, what is comfort food? So comfort food is like when you have, like, a bad day and you come back home, you want a bowl of something and sit on a sofa and eat it. So I'm going to make you pad thai, delicious Thai stir-fry noodle. We make pad thai sauce from tamarinds, uh, palm sugar and fish sauce. And then we add prawn, to tofu and things. And hoi thot. What's hoi thoi? <laughs> hoi thot. Hoi thoi? Hoi thot. Hoi thot. That's perfect. Impressive. High five. Yeah. Hoi thot is the crispy muscle pancake. But I have a little surprise for you. So I'm wearing this butterfly shirt for some reasons. I'm intrigued. <laughs> Pad Thai, classic street food. Rice noodles have to be soft and slippery and not falling apart. So, so this is your butterfly surprise? Yes. Now I'm just talking about presenting his dish in a very unusual style. A butterfly and a Pad Thai? Who knows? Munira, this is comfort food, but you look anything but comfortable right now. I think I've got a lot to do in the time. So what's comfort food for you for, today? Right, for me, comfort food is something called halim, which is a spicy barley and lentil broth with lamb inside. Served inside a cob, a bread. Alongside, I'm going to serve you some stuffed chilies and I'm going to dip them in batter and deep fry them. Anything fried is always comfort. <laughs> Why have you given yourself a lot to do? Um, because giving you just a bowl of soup wasn't enough. <laughs> I think Manira has given herself a huge amount of work to do. And if she pulls it off, I'm going to be really pleased. Stew and bread. Who doesn't love that? I love that it has fancy flares to it because it has to be something that would make me keep going back exactly. to a restaurant time and time again. This has hits to it and it has misses to it. I loved your muscle butterflies. I could eat an entire tray of those if they were served to me at a party. And I love the sauce. The noodles, for me, were where it fell down. I thought they were a little bit dry. I like those crispy pancakes with a sweet chilli sauce. I like that. And then when you get down on their muscles, you get a little bit of salt as well. I like that. I find the noodles too dry. I get a little bit of sour tamarind and I get some sauciness, but it's missing a zing. I really like the way you cook the prawns because they are lovely and crunchy still. I'd like those noodles to be a little bit more unctuous, but I like the flavours. Oh, thank you. It looks like a banquet fit for an emperor. Wow, you did this in 90 minutes. You work quickly. That is a pearl, barley, lamb, almost Scottish stew that's like gone OTT with the spice of a mulligatawny. Absolutely stunning. These that look like whole fried bananas are delicious. You've put spiced mashed potato inside a chilli, battered it and deep fried it. Yes. Amazed. I've eaten halim before in uh, a place in central London. The chef will kill me, but I think I like this one better. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I think this is just fantastic. I love the fact that that lamb broth tastes almost like a lamb and barley stew that then it's been curried. Yeah. The fact you made bread, good on you. You know what? I'd be really happy with that all on my lap watching the telly on a Friday night in my shorts. <laughs> <laughs>